Hi, my name is Garrett, working on a martial arts combat and exploration game called Strong by 3. This week I worked on the skybox, again, uh, mostly making changes to the nebulas. I was kind of just playing around with Shader Graph and I found this sort of like reverse nebula design where it's sort of um, more transparent in the middle and then it gets a little bit more opaque as it goes out. I think it's a pretty cool looking design, I don't know if I'll end up keeping it, but I definitely think it's interesting. Uh, one thing I don't like is that there is still a seam in the skybox, but it's not as noticeable with this sort of design. Um, and I also kind of like that the, the nebulas are brighter in the background and the sky is sort of darker. I think it provides contrast in itself and nebulas in real life are pretty bright. So I'll see how that plays out with the background and different environment pieces because I really like this bright, vibrant nebula. Uh, and this design might change, but the idea of the nebulas are definitely staying. And I also made some changes to the general environment. Thank you guys for all the feedback. It was really great to get different perspectives on it. Uh, the biggest critique I got was that the ground was a little bit too bright, too green. Um, so I desaturated it a little bit and made it a little bit darker and I think it looks better. Um, I also added some like spotted like pink emissive spots on the ground. Um, I don't know exactly what the uh, the sort of backstory behind it is. I guess there's some sort of thing that the marionettes did to cause like corruption in the ground or something. I I'm not sure. Um, but I tried playing around with that and it looks it looks all right. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I'll keep it, but I kind of like the emissive part of it. So we'll see about stuff with that. And there's also still the problem of like telling the depth and some contrast between you know, different parts of the environment. So I still have to play around with that. Like I kind of said before, I want to try to limit the color palette a little bit, so I'm not trying to add too many colors. Um, but in this case, I may need to, or may end up need to change the tune shader, so it provides you know better depth and contrast with the other parts of the environment. So if you would like to know more, you can head on over to the Discord. You can ask me any questions about the game, about anything. I'm happy to help. So thank you for watching. I love you forever, and I'm coming back next week.